On July 12, 2016, a historic event unfolded that would reverberate throughout the South China Sea and beyond. The Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague delivered a landmark ruling in favor of the Philippines in its maritime dispute with China. This decision, based on the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, or UNCLOS, held profound implications for the geopolitical landscape of Southeast Asia. It marked a pivotal moment in the long-running saga of territorial claims and maritime disputes in one of the world's most strategically significant waterways. However, the celebrations were short-lived, as China immediately rejected the ruling. Beijing denounced the tribunal's decision as null and void, refusing to recognize its jurisdiction or abide by its findings. The South China Sea, a vast expanse of water spanning over 1.4 million square miles, has long been a focal point of geopolitical rivalry and economic competition. Its strategic importance stems from a confluence of factors, including its role as a vital maritime trade route and its abundant natural resources. As a critical artery of global commerce, the South China Sea serves as a conduit for trillions of dollars in annual trade. Its sea lanes carry a significant portion of the world's oil and gas supplies. Beneath its surface, the South China Sea holds vast reserves of oil, natural gas and fisheries. These resources are crucial for the economic development and energy security of the surrounding countries. China's assertive actions in the region, including the construction of artificial islands and the militarization of disputed features, have raised concerns about its intentions. The region remains on edge as claimant states continue to assert their claims and external powers navigate the complex web of regional dynamics. In 2013, the Philippines, frustrated by China's increasingly assertive actions in the South China Sea, took a bold step. The Philippine government filed a case against China at the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague. This legal challenge, brought under the framework of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, or UNCLOS, sought to clarify maritime entitlements. At the heart of the Philippines' case was a challenge to the legality of China's expansive Nine Dash Line claim. After years of deliberations, the arbitral tribunal delivered its landmark ruling on July 12, 2016. The tribunal sided with the Philippines on almost every count declaring that China's nine-dash line claim had no legal basis. Section 4. China's Stance Rejection and Repercussions China's reaction to the unclosed arbitral award was swift and uncompromising. Beijing immediately rejected the ruling, denouncing it as null and void. Chinese officials asserted that the tribunal lacked jurisdiction to hear the case. This act of defiance sent shockwaves through the region and beyond. In the wake of the ruling, China embarked on a multi-pronged strategy to undermine the tribunal's decision and assert its claims in the South China Sea. This strategy involved a combination of diplomatic pressure, economic coercion and military posture. Economically, China leveraged its economic clout to pressure the Philippines. Militarily, China continued its assertive actions in the South China Sea, stepping up its construction and militarization of artificial islands, Uh, section 5. Navigating the Future Diplomacy and Regional Security Eight years have passed since the landmark UNCLOS Arbitral Award, yet the South China Sea remains a region of simmering tensions and geopolitical uncertainty. The Arbitral Tribunal's decision, while a significant legal victory for the Philippines, has done little to alter China's assertive behavior in the disputed waters. The Philippines, despite facing continued pressure from China, has maintained its commitment to upholding the Arbitral Award. The Philippine government has sought to leverage international support for the ruling. It has also strengthened its security partnerships, particularly with the United States, to deter further Chinese aggression. ASEAN, the regional bloc of Southeast Asian nations, has a crucial role to play in managing the South China Sea dispute. However, ASEAN's effectiveness has been hampered by its consensus-based decision-making process and the divergent interests of its member states. The United States, as a Pacific power with a vested interest in regional stability, has been a vocal critic of China's actions in the South China Sea. 
As the South China Sea dispute enters its next chapter, diplomacy and dialogue remain crucial to preventing conflict and finding a peaceful resolution.